Hey there designers, I am in Gdania, Poland. I'm here for Product Cam, which is a conference about designing better product. Today, I'm gonna to take a workshop about conversion rate optimization, which is super important for designers in general because it's a great skill um, and something that can be very valuable when selling to clients. Specifically for me, it's also valuable because I have an e-commerce business, so it kind of helped me improve conversion, sales, and growth. So I'm really excited about this workshop. First though, I'm in a new city, gonna explore a little bit, gonna try to find good breakfast, then head into the conference. All right, breakfast done, got some emails done. Let's go learn at this workshop. All right, so that was a really, really cool workshop. It was around four, maybe four and a half hours, so actually quite intensive at the end. I was quite tired, but it was really awesome. Let me share with you what I've learned. So first of all, that workshop was run by um, by this woman called Andra, who has her own agency in Romania doing conversion rate optimization. So first of all, she's a pro. That's awesome that she was able to build such a cool agency working with really nice clients in Romania. And she basically shared the process of how they work with clients. Now, for those of you who don't know what is conversion rate optimization, um, let me share a little bit about the context because it's something that I both do for my business and also when I work with clients, I help them with this. So um, it's quite interesting. Basically, um, for every website that sells something, which is whether it is e-commerce or where maybe whether you have kind of like a SaaS product or something like that, basically there's a funnel, which means that a lot of people come in, let's say get to the landing page, then less people sign up, less people become registered or paying customers. So it kind of looks like a downward funnel. By the way, I have a video about what is funnel, so you can look that up. Um, and the process of conversion rate optimization means let's understand where people are dropping through this funnel, what is unoptimized, and try to kind of like stop the, the leaking from the bucket so that more people will come down. Obviously, that would lead to the growth of the business because if more people that come to the landing page, will sign up, will become paying customers, then the, the business will have more customers, more money, and obviously all businesses want to grow. By the way, this is quite similar to the process of growth hacking. There are more or less different names for the same process but or different methodologies to deal with the same problem. So basically, as I said, I was doing this before, but I didn't have like a really good structure um, or methodology to do that. And Andra kind of give a really good framework, which was, first of all, you kind of do um, a quantitative research, which means taking a look at your Google Analytics and really understand what's going on there. And Google Analytics is something that I personally struggled a lot because it's really complicated just to set it up and then actually take a look at the numbers and understand what goes on there. And she kind of showed us where to look and how to find those outliers so that you can understand maybe which demographic or, or who is performing well on your website, where are they dropping. So the first step is to really understand what's going on, taking a look at the numbers and understanding what really goes on. Then the second part is kind of like a, a qualitative research, which means you need to try to understand why these things happen. And you do that by actually talking to people. So either by surveys or interviews or polls or stuff like that to really understand, okay, if somebody dropped here, let's try and understand, maybe let's put a survey or a poll in this place to understand, hey, why didn't you purchase? You were looking at this item, why didn't you purchase? To try to get data on maybe they were lacking some information, maybe this the website wasn't trustworthy enough. So to try to really understand the reason behind the behavior. Then um, 
you need to develop basically an hypothesis, which means because we see this behavior happens or this trend happens, we think that if we change this, let's say the position of a button or the structure of a page, we think that this specific metric is going to change within a time frame. So let's say I'm going to make the um, the description takes text longer. And I think this will increase the registration on this page in x percent over the next two weeks. So that might be in a hypothesis. So you build up a list of a lot of hypotheses, and then you start, <coughs> sorry, you start testing them and experimenting and seeing and you do that basically with A-B testing, perhaps you've heard about A-B testing, which means you test two variations of the website or a design, you split the traffic, so 50% goes here, 50% goes here, and then after a while, um, you see which one performs best. And again, A-B testing is something that a lot of people talk about, a lot of people know um, about the concept, but not a lot of people know how to run those tests effectively and undercovered you know, how to understand how long you need to run the test so that they are statistically valid. And there are all kinds of calculators online, you can look that up to try to understand, again, how long you need to run the test, how much traffic you need, because if the numbers are too small, then the test is, it might be random, it's not statistically valid. Anyway, I think this was really, really interesting. I think this is a process that a lot of designers can benefit from knowing how to do because besides doing that for their own businesses, selling this as a client as a client service and having this kind of a retainer where you help your clients, because I think that most small to medium sized clients don't understand how to do that themselves. And maybe they don't even have a budget to work with an agency like Andra. So if you're as a designer can come up and say, Hey, let's take a look at the data together. Let's try to understand what's really going on. And then let's come up with experiments to try to improve your business. Obviously, every business want, uh, owner wants to make more money. Um, and that's really a systematic way to work long term with clients, which I think can be really, really great. All right, that's all for today. Tomorrow, I'm actually giving my talk here um, at the product camp. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. From the roots to the roots, yeah. Yeah.